Okay, this video is to show you the basics of Dosery, how to use it, the different features that it has. Once you have an idea of the features, then we'll give you time to create your own presentation. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the app, Dosery. Once you do that, you have two options. You can either use your iPad alone, or you can connect it to your computer, and then you can play it through your computer. So I'm just going to use just the iPad. Then, to start a new project, there's a plus sign down at the bottom, so we're going to hit the plus sign. It gives you a default size, so we're going to do that. Once you're into the actual presentation itself, there are a lot of different features on here. So the first one, we're going to start at the top. This checkerboard is the screen. So you can choose um, black chalkboard, green chalkboard, whiteboard. You can choose graph paper, which is going to be really helpful for any math teachers. You can choose a color, so you can, instead of making a white background, you can make a red background. And you can also create something custom. The next thing is importing pictures. So you can put a picture in from your camera, or you can put one in from your iPhoto library. Next, once you finish with your presentation, you can export it. You can save the current image. So for each screen, you can keep saving every screen. Or in the end, you can open it in a PDF file or email the PDF file. There are seven buttons up at the top here. These are all the different things that you can do for your presentation. So if I click on the first one, if you press and hold a little bit, you'll get a screen that shows all the different features that you can do. So you can change your size, you can change the spacing, so this makes it to where you can create a dotted line. Uh, you, can create, you can change the opacity, which is where you can change how dark the line is. And w you can also change the color off to the side. Now clicking all these at the top is the same thing as navigating through them over here. So this screen and this up here is the same thing. So if we change to the next one, this is more like a marker. And we have the spray paint. Then there's a um, thicker marker and an even thicker marker. This one is like a brush. You can make a straight line. You can make a rectangle, a circle, or an arrow. So those are all the different things that you can actually put onto your presentation. Um, you can also erase. So there's an eraser that you'll be able to just scribble out whatever it was that you didn't want. These buttons here are either going back or going forward. So if you hit go back but you didn't really mean to, you can go back forward. And if you make a mistake, then you can always just erase it with that. This one here that looks like a windshield wiper, that is going to be used to clear your entire screen. So you can clear the entire screen with one keystroke. This next one here is the settings. There's a few different settings that we can mess with here. And lastly, this X over here, this is to exit out. So, um, some things that you can do here. We can go and we can write. Um, you can also, if I wanted to erase it, I can click on the eraser and we can erase that. And another neat feature that it has, up at the top is you can record. So if you're taking notes and you want to say things as you take your notes, you can hit that record button and it records your sound with the slide. Once you completely finish, this little folder up at the top here, this is where you would be able to create another project or go back and forth between projects that you've already created.